No litigation. I don't want to hear any. None. Zip. You're not suing this guy anymore. I'm sue proof. Because that was my Native American name as a child. Invest now. Invest now. Invest now. I got some stock tips for you. <laughs> you ain't in the market. You ain't right ahead. <laughs> Now's the time. Go on in. No waters. <laughs> John Cain's here. You're probably wondering, John Cain's, who are you making out with? There was no one there. I'll tell you what I was doing. I was reenacting what was happening in the markets. I think you're pretty jacked. I know I'm jacked, because I got a lot of back money again. <laughs> GameStop on last week. Holy shit, we got AMC, which is worth dog shit, and that's making a ton of money. You got Nokia and Robin Hood saying, no, no, you can't make money. If you're an individual, no. And all the individuals are like, <laughs> Wall Street doesn't like any competition unless it's with each other. And they know they can make whatever fucking bets they want. And you know what? As long as it's one of them, they know that the Fed and the US Treasury will be there to bail them out. In fact, just in November of last year, JP Morgan Chase got fined for manipulation of the markets. Did any of them go to prison? Oh no, they did not. Has anyone gone to prison? Have any of these banksters? Yeah, like there was this one guy in 2008 they got and they said he did, he was a scapegoat. Anyway, in fact, HSBC almost went to jail and Eric Holder at the time, who was the attorney general, stepped in and said, I am concerned that the size of some of these institutions becomes so large that it does become difficult for us to prosecute them when we are hit with indications that if you do prosecute, if you do bring a criminal charge, it will have a negative impact on the national economy, perhaps even the world economy. What? You do what I do that, we go to fucking jail, they, they get away with it, and they just get fines, but you know they made over 350 million on those shady fucking deals. So they're just making money handing over this, and then Wall Street bets comes in. And you're talking about much short, uh, AMC. Uh, GameStop, GameStop, there's a lot of shorts there, let's fuck those hedge funds. And you know what, if we do a lot of it, then we'll bring it down. And then we can bring down the fucking system together. Woo woo! You know what, I gave you millennials a lot of shit. Cause you're, uh, we don't like when you talk like that. Yeah, and you're a bummer. And boo, that's what you were like in college. You know what? You're turning in a okay in my book. You're growing up and you're saying, fuck you, Banks. What you did to mommy and daddy in 2008 and you got bailed out. Eat shit, you assholes. But the big fish. Oh, the Moby Dick of all sorts. I'm talking about the one that could bring the whole system to its knees. Talking about silver. Squeeze. Yeah, that SLV. That SLV is the paper money. They say they have enough physical silver for each SLV share out there, right? And no one ever calls them out. Fuck you. There's no way that you have the silver that you say you do, okay? You know what I mean? So what happens if that gets called into question? And what if there's a mass rush into silver paper? Now physical. Good luck getting physical without being 10 bucks over spot. Yeah, they're scared because they know they're exposed. They worry it's gonna have a cascading effect because you know what? JP Morgan Chase, too big to fail. And then the government's gonna have to step in and they're gonna have to bail out JP Morgan Chase. And the people are gonna say, what the fuck? Why did they get bailed out? And they say, well, there's a systemic risk to the whole fucking economic system. If we don't save it, your choice, let it fall and we're all fucked or save them and be pissed. That's your choice. We can keep going. They're gonna fucking go after us. They're gonna stop and push down the fucking price and sell it, cause it's always worse. But if we keep progressing and keep going and keep going, oh, oh, it's not good to do it. Oh, yeah. You are joking. Uh, uh. You're a little scared, you're scared. It's okay, Big Daddy Keynes is here. Cause I'm a smooth operator. <laughs> just, just, just I'm so smooth. Whoa, whoa, that was fucking awesome. I was fucking awesome, and you're fucking awesome. So go out there and take care of yourself. You never know. The government might not be there for you. And while you're there, on Main 